Today, I have a very special treat for all of you, and some of you have been asking for this for quite some time now. Today, I'm giving you guys my personal exercise program. The program that I'm about to walk you guys through is exactly, well, almost exactly my entire weightlifting program. I had to tweak it a little bit for you guys, but it is almost exactly my entire weightlifting program. So, let's get into it. This is a five day per week lifting program that's more focused on upper body than anything. And this program is meant to help you build muscle and strength. If you stay consistent with it, you should see some results. First of all, this is an eight week program. If you guys start this on Monday, it should carry you all the way through July to just about the end of August. As for the general layout, most of the exercises in the program are done in supersets. That means you perform one exercise and move immediately to a second and sometimes even again a third exercise. You can see this in the program in the column labeled order. It goes from 3A to 3B to 3C, 4A, and so on. This means you're going to be supersetting those exercises. In the rest column, if you see a dash, that means you're going to move immediately to the next exercise down the list. Then, at the bottom of the superset of exercises, you'll see 90S. That means you're gonna be resting for 90 seconds after that exercise. After resting, then you repeat the superset. Essentially, you just move down the entire list of exercises for that day until you finish the day's workout. For most of this program, each exercise is done in three sets of 10 reps. You can see this under each week. So let's say you're doing a dumbbell bicep curl, one entire motion up, and back down is considered one repetition. Doing 10 repetitions makes up one set. Next to the sets and reps is the weight column. This has been left open for you guys to write in whatever weights you use so you can keep track of your progress and you don't forget where you left off. Some of the fundamental exercises like bench press or barbell squat don't just stay at three sets of 10 reps. There's more of a progression to this. Looking through the weeks, you can see that it goes from three sets of 10, three sets of eight, three sets of six, four sets of six, and so on. With this progression and having fewer reps in each set, you should be increasing the weight used. This is designed to help build strength. With that, if you ever feel an exercise is getting too easy, you should bump up the weight a little bit. For each exercise, we're going for about a seven to eight out of 10 in terms of difficulty and exertion. The last thing that I wanna mention is that at the very bottom of every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, there is an ab workout section. And this has been left mostly open, and that's because Pretty much every one of my ab workouts is randomly chosen. I pick an interval that I want to do for my ab workout. Let's say 30 seconds of exercise and 15 seconds of rest for 10 different exercises. Then I think of an exercise, do it for 30 seconds, rest for 15, and continue until I've done 10 different exercises. I made this a little bit easier for you guys by adding a separate sheet that's labeled ab intervals and exercises. In this sheet, you can find a list of different intervals from beginner to expert and a short list of exercises for different areas of your abs. I suggest mixing up all different exercises and hitting different areas of your abs. So some last things that I wanna add is that I've designed this program specifically for myself. While I have tweaked it a little bit for you guys, it is designed for me, so I can't guarantee you're gonna get insanely fast results. Most of the equipment used in the program is done with dumbbells and bars, and that's because I'm stuck at home and don't have any access to machines, but I have thrown a few different machine exercises in for you guys. Additionally, some of the exercises are a little bit more advanced, especially if you are new to lifting weights. If that's the case, it is 100% okay to take a step back, find a simpler exercise and stick with that until you feel you're ready for more advanced stuff. As for the exercises, if you don't know some of them, you're gonna have to do some research on your own. If I were to go through and explain every single one of the exercises, we would be here for hours. And as for any time you go to work out, please give yourself like five to 10 minutes of warm up, just to get your body ready for exercise. We don't want any injuries setting us back. So. There you have it. That is my entire exercise program and you can find it in the description of this video. I suggest printing it off and writing on it as that's how I've designed it. If you guys have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments. I would be more than happy to answer any of you guys' questions. And lastly, please be safe and have fun with this. I want you guys to enjoy this and hopefully see some results of your own. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next week. I had to tweak a little bit for you guys. Today, and some of you, the program that I'm about to watch you guys, fucking shit. The program that I'm going to walk you through is exactly, well, almost exactly, my entire, I tweak a little bit. Today is a very special day. Today is a very special day. Today, today I have a special treat for you all. Son of a bitch. Dash, that means you'll be moving, you'll move, it means you'll move. <sighs> 
I suggest missing. I suggest mixing the inner. I suggest hitting. I suggest mixing the interval. My God. Oh. Mixing the exercises up a little bit and hitting. Christ. I suggest hitting. Mother, motherfucker. Why can I not say it? Empty. Okay. Goodbye. We're done.